Hey guys! So today I wanted to make a video with my Reborn William because I saw that there is a Reborn tag going around on YouTube so I thought to do it just for fun. As for AG videos, I'm planning a movie that should come out sometime next month. I'm working on props and all kinds of crazy stuff for it so it's gonna take probably a little while to film. So I've got my phone with my notes here and I'm going to do the Reborn tag. Let's get started. How did you first find out about Reborns? I first found out from YouTube and it was probably a couple months after I started. I saw a video that Love My Reborn Baby did and I believe it was like a morning or a night routine or something. And I'm like, wow, those dolls are really, really cute. They look so realistic. And I just did some more research and it kind of went from there. Do you prefer open or close-eyed babies? Well, seeing as William is the first and only reborn I've ever had, he is open-eyed. So I'm not really sure what my preference would be since I've never actually seen like a sleeping close-eyed baby in person. I think they do pass for a little bit more realistic than the open-eyed ones if you were to take them like out in public, but I don't know. I kind of like the open-eyed ones because you can give them a little bit more of a personality. I don't know. They're, they're cute. I like both. What do you use to condition their hair? I don't actually use anything. I just use like a spray bottle and a little um, baby brush for his hair, so nothing special. Do you like to collect bottles or pacifiers or both? Um, I actually only have one bottle for him and seeing as I literally never use it, I would say more pacifiers because I don't know, I think they're a lot cuter and they're a little bit easier to store like if you have a ton of them rather than these big bulky bottles. What do you bond with better, boys or girls? Again, seeing as William is my only reborn, I chose him to be a boy because all of my like other dolls that I have are girls. So I just wanted to get a boy to shake things up a little. I'm not really sure what I bond with better. I can't exactly answer that. Do you like monster, zombie, goth, alien, vampire, etc. reborns? Not really, I don't know. They're not particularly my cup of tea. Some of them are very, very cute, but I personally would never get one. I prefer the realistic ones, although there are some fantasy ones, like I think it's the um, Ophelia, I think that's how you say it. It's a little like elf kit. That kit is really cute. Do you have a favorite item for your reborn? I would probably say the bouncer that I have for William, just because it's very easy to like display him in and he looks really cute in it. It's um, got like jungle theme to it, it has lions, and I'm obsessed with lions, so that or this cute little owl lovey that he's holding are probably my favorite items. Do you have a theme for your reborn? Not really, just because I feel like it's kind of hard to have like an actual theme, you know, like when you buy clothes you would go for that specific theme, but I guess if I had to pick a theme for him it would probably be like nature or like jungle safari type thing. What is your favorite type of video to film with your reborn? I have actually only filmed one video with him, not counting this one, so this will be the second video I filmed with him. So I'm not really sure. The first video I filmed with him was like a details video, and if you guys want to check that out, I will put it like here. I'll put it right here, and then you guys can watch it if you want. Um, I'm not really sure. I've never really filmed like a role play type video, so I can't I can't really answer that. I do, there is a part of me that still wants to like start a reborn channel, but I'm not really sure. If you guys are interested in seeing those kinds of videos, um, maybe leave a comment down below and let me know if you're interested in that. What is your favorite part of being in the reborn community? I would say just seeing people that have a same interest as me, very similar to the American Girl community. It's just nice to be able to connect with people and talk to others about your dolls and stuff without having them get all weirded out. I've met quite a few good friends through like Reborn Instagram and that sort of thing. We talk a lot and it's fun to have internet friendships where you guys have such a similar interest. How has your reborn changed your life? 
I wouldn't say that William has really changed my life, honestly. Like, it's not that I got him and I'm like, oh my gosh, my life is so different now. He has been a lot of fun to take pictures of and he's very cuddly. So like, if I've had a bad day, I'll just scoop him up and just relax, watch some Netflix. He hasn't really changed my life, but he has helped me enhance like my photography skills and taking pictures of something that's a little bit more realistic than an American Girl doll. When you look at your Reborn, what's the first thing that comes to mind? He's cute? <laughs> I'm not sure. I always think, hmm, I want to take pictures of you. Let's, say, let's go outside and take pictures. Or the other thing that comes to mind is, I want another one. <laughs> Do you have a favorite Reborn artist? Um, yes, I do. Her name is Shaylin, and her nursery, I suppose you could call it, is Reborn Sweet. She is an incredible artist. Her work is, it's, it's amazing. She has a Facebook page, which is where I see all of her work. She posts a lot of work in progress stuff, and every time I see her things, I'm like, wow, this girl has talent. What is your dream baby? I would probably say it's him. I mean, I don't know if I'll ever get another reborn, but you know, just being able to have one and he was a custom made to my exact specifications, I would say he's my dream baby. If you could give one piece of advice to a new reborn parent, what would it be? Don't be afraid of like doing things with them. I know a lot of people are like really, really, really careful and that's completely understandable. I mean, they are a lot of money. I wouldn't just, don't be afraid to like, you know, take them outside and do things with them. Obviously don't be rough. You still want to take, like, be careful with them and be cautious as if they were a real human, but don't be scared to try new things with them. What is the best way to deal with people who don't understand or respect this hobby? Just ignore them. There really is absolutely no point in getting into an argument about why or why not somebody should be interested in something. There's nothing wrong with like if somebody was like harassing you or something, there's nothing wrong with sticking up for yourself, but don't do it in like a really mean-spirited way. Be mature and just watch out for yourself for the most part. Just ignore it because it's inevitable that you're gonna get hate with this hobby. People are not going to understand it. They're going to think that there's something wrong with you and that you're really weird and these dolls are creepy. It's gonna, it's gonna happen sooner or later. So that was the Reborn tag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos with this little cutie, be sure to leave a comment down below letting me know. I am still considering a Reborn channel, but making it something where I only do for fun, not having like a strict video schedule, because the only channel I have a schedule on is my human channel. And if you guys haven't subscribed to that already, you totally should. I upload new videos every Wednesday. I'll put an annotation right here and you guys can click there and subscribe. So if I do start a Reborn channel, it'll just be something that I do for fun. Like if I'm like, oh, I wanna make a video, I'll make a video. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you soon. Bye.